How to crochet the pistachio shell stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Feel Good Yarn Company, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lana Monday Yarns Tajik Mohair in the color Light Spruce. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, double crochet, and two special abbreviations, shell and V-stitch, which we will explain in this tutorial. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in multiples of eight plus two. Row one, beginning on the right side of our work, we'll do a single crochet into the second chain from our hook. Gotta make sure we get our hook in the chain. There we go. All right, then we're gonna start our repeat by doing a chain one. Then we will skip three chains and we will do a shell into the next chain. So skip one, two, three. Our shell is gonna begin right here and we'll start that by doing a double crochet. All right, then we're gonna chain one and we'll do this a total of three times. So that was one. There's two. And three. And then we'll finish up by doing one more double crochet into that same chain stitch. Okay. So after we finish our shell, we will chain one, skip three chains. So we've got one, two, three. And then we are going to do a single crochet into the next chain, which will be right here. Okay, and we're gonna repeat this all the way across until the end of the row. Row two, after we've turned our work, we're going to begin by chaining three, and this is gonna count as a double crochet. Then we're gonna do a double crochet into that same stitch. This is the one right below our chain that we just made. Now we're gonna start a repeat by chaining two. Okay, then we're gonna skip two chain one spaces. So that's gonna be this one here and this one here. All right. And then we are going to do a single crochet into the next chain one space. Then we will chain one and single crochet into that space again. All right, now we're going to chain one. Sorry, chain two. And we will skip the next two chain one spaces. One, two. Then we'll do a V stitch into the next single crochet, which is this stitch right here. So the V stitch is a double crochet. Then a chain one, another double crochet into that same stitch and that creates our V. All right, we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. Now we come to our last repeat. We are going to do two double crochets into the last single crochet instead of a V-stitch. So just double crochet once. And then once more. 
right into that same stitch. And then we can turn our work. Row three. After we've turned our work, we're going to chain three. Okay, then we're going to count this as a double crochet. Next, we're going to do a, another double crochet into that first double crochet. That's this one right here, below our chains that we just made. And we will do a chain one, and then one more double crochet into that same stitch. Then we're going to chain one more, and we will skip two chain spaces. That's this one right here, the two chain space. This will start our repeat and we'll do a single crochet into the next chain one space. That's this kind of mini V that we created in the row before. Like so. Now we're going to chain one again. And we will skip the next two chain space, which is right here and we'll do a shell into the next chain one space, which is at the center of our V stitch from the previous row. So double crochet, chain one, and we'll do this three times total. So that was one, two, another chain one, and there's three, and we'll finish off with one more double crochet. All right, now we are going to, after we do our V stitch, sorry, our shell stitch, we'll chain one more, and then we'll repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. All right, when we reach our last repeat, we're gonna do a single crochet into the next chain one space. Then we'll chain one. And we're gonna do a double crochet into the top of our turn chain, just right over here. Then we'll chain one, and then we'll do two double crochets into the top of that same turn chain. Okay, then we're gonna turn our work. Row four, we're gonna begin by chaining one. Then we're going to do two single crochets into our first double crochet. That's this one right here. Oops, make sure we don't split our stitches. So there's one. And two. All right, then we're gonna start our repeat by chaining two. Oops, forgot to finish that one off. There we go. So there's one, two chains. Then we're going to do a V stitch into the next single crochet. So we're gonna skip these two chain one spaces and go into this single crochet right here. double crochet, chain one, and double crochet again into that same stitch. All right, very good. Next, we are going to skip the next two chain one spaces. That's this one and this one. We will chain two, and then do a single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one and single crochet again into that same space. 
Okay, and then we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach the last repeat in our row. Now, when we get to our last repeat here, we are going to have our shell and we will chain two. We'll skip these first two chain one spaces, do our single crochet into the next chain space, chain one, single crochet into that same space. Then we're going to chain two again and we'll do a V stitch into the next single crochet. Then we'll chain one, double crochet again into that same stitch, that's our V stitch. Then we'll chain two, and we will do two single crochets into the top of our turn chain is right here. Okay, then we'll turn our work. Row five, we're gonna begin by chaining one. Then we're gonna do a single crochet into the first single crochet. All right, and then we will start our repeat by chaining one. Then we'll skip the next two chain space and we'll do a shell into the next chain one space, which is the center of our V stitch. So double crochet, chain one three times. Okay, then we'll finish off with a double crochet in there. Then we are going to chain one, skip the next two chain space, and we will do a single crochet into the next chain one space, which is this one right here. All right. Then we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. And to finish up this row, we will do our last single crochet into the last single crochet of the row. Then we'll turn our work. So we're gonna repeat rows two through five until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you crochet the pistachio shell stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more new stitch a day? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newstitchaday.com slash VIP.